Twelve voices were shouting in anger, and they were all alike. No question now what had happened to the faces of the pigs. The creatures outside looked from pig to man and from man to pig, and from pig to man again. But already it was impossible to say which was which. Animal Farm. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, YouTube stream of thought guy. So I want to um, I want to put on a record that uh, I, I love what the what people are saying in the comments. I love the the fact that people are connecting the dots to to the real problem, which is oligarchy, which is which is the banks controlling all of the wealth and controlling the treasuries and manipulating the markets to enrich themselves. That is the problem. Right? It's not it's not racism, it's not discrimination, it's not sexism, it's not occultism, it's not <laughs> what's in your pants or who you put <laughs> who 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 you sleep with or any of those well stupid. It's it's an economic problem. The other thing, you know, Q is educating the sleepy masses on the Trump side. Good for you, man. Good for you, Mr. Mr. Q. Good for you, Mr. Q. All right? But again, Trump himself is saying, he's, he's already pointing to the corruption, right? He's already saying the Clintons are corrupt. He's the one who called crooked Hillary, right? He's, he came up with the phrase, but what is he doing about it? The President of the United States not doing anything about it. Because he's a, he was a pig and now he's looking, when you look from pig to man and man to pig, you can't tell the difference. That's what, that's the system. That's, that's the, that's the system, right? You can't, he's not gonna break anything. He's part of it now, right? It's the people, right? The storm is the people. You are the storm, right? You're the storm. You're what, you're what everybody's been waiting for. You're the storm. Who's that guy? Somebody looking over my shoulder. See that? See that? I saw that. And the other, the other aspect is why is healthcare? Why is the biggest fight among the politicians to not give universal healthcare to all people? Right? Why is that? Why is that? Is it because they want people? They want people. They don't want to. It's too expensive? No, it, it's not too expensive. It's easy. But you cut out the middleman when you do that. All the insurance companies, all the all the people on the take, right? right. A pill is a hundred dollars in a hospital. It's fucking ridiculous, right? So universal health care and when people are healthy, there's no money in that, right? There's no money in that. My look, I, I have I'll I'll put something else on the record, right? I went to um, Syracuse University, right, in, in the 80s. I'm 54 years old, right? and I have totally beautiful hair, and my hair is fantastic. People say, how is, Conti, how's your hair so beautiful at 50? <laughs> you know, and here's the deal, right? Here's the deal. I'm on, I've been, I, again, I, was, I went to Syracuse University, and I was a nutrition major. I was, I'm... You know, at, in the 80s, I was a clinical nutritionist, right? That's what my degree is in, clinical nutrition, right? So I, I understand biology, biology and chemistry, and I practiced, I was, I worked in, you know, in, the, in that field for a bunch of years, and, um, but I didn't learn shit because, <laughs> because you saw the trap. That was in the 80s when the, you know, people were waking up to the fact that you have to take care of yourself, and, Although I did lose my way over the years, um, somewhat, I've always maintained a, 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 a regimen of running, exercise, health. Currently, I've been on a, uh, I, I start the morning every day. I, I'm a veg vegan, vegetarian, vegan, right? And, uh, and that's mostly for the animals, for animal rights, but it's also, for health, well, I'll get into that at a later time. But but I'm also I take a. What I'm trying to say is that you have to take care of yourself. Yes, everybody's commenting, you know, 
take care of yourself. Of course, of course. What are we gonna do? The, see, the medical profession doesn't make money on that. They don't make money on you if you're healthy, right? I wake up every day and I have a. I, I wake up to a liquid diet. Right? I've been doing this for years now. Right? Where I, I, I blend, you know, pineapple, papaya, apples, oranges, bananas, any fruits and vegetables that I can get my hands on goes in my blender. And I, I usually drink the whole thing in the morning, and then maybe, you know, maybe a little something later. And then, and lunch is o almost always, o almost always something healthy, right? I, I don't, you know, I don't frequent. I keep McDonald's. I, the last time I was in McDonald's is I drink the coffee. That's all I drink. And every once in a while I'll eat their French fries, but that's it. Right? I don't eat that shit. I don't, you know, so. Take care of yourself through diet and exercise. I'll do more about it if people want to, you know, if that's of interest, maybe that is the, the, the answer. Because it, it not only, it's not only for, for, for self, um, health and self-preservation, but it also holds the answer to a lot of the economic problems that we're seeing. That there is a stranglehold on the, the concept of universal health care for that, universal health care for that reason. Right? That it not only makes people healthy, but it eliminates the middleman. And then through that, now the government has an interest in seeing healthy people. So then you'll see all the programs pop up for, for uh, you know, prevention. Remember that word, prevention? No, you don't even hear that word. That's, that word isn't even in the, in the, uh, in the dialogue anymore, Pre prevention. How about that? There he is again. Down here in the uh, jungle because it's snowing outside in, in New York. It's spring and it's snowing. But that's all. I want to. Um, I'll continue on about the diet thing, and 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 it doesn't it doesn't change one iota, right? If only five percent of the the the, the currency is on uh, on hold at banks, right? If people ran the banks, that would be that would be a good start. That would be something that could then trigger an economic collapse, right? We have to go further. The idea that you know that student loans are are going to be imprisonable is just ridiculous, right? Who are the guilty party? Who are the real traitors? Who are the real pe the people that qualify as treasonous? Is Obama a traitor? Clinton's, yeah, probably, you know. But let that let that let that sort out later. You're not gonna you're not gonna prosecute them in this current system. It's not gonna happen, right? It, it can't happen because if they prosecute the Clintons, then everybody is guilty. Right? You see how that works? It's all connected, right? You know, Mueller, you have to be careful of this guy. This, this is, this is the, the coup in, in effect. Where they've got a, a sector of the, the, you know, the population still believing that somehow Trump is the, you know, get Trump out. Because Trump's not playing ball. Trump is, is for free markets and, you know, and he actually believes that the Constitution should stay in place. I didn't like that idea. So Russia doesn't, Russia is not a doesn't play ball in this stupid economy. They don't they don't uh, they don't need our military backing. You know, the answer too is in the treasuries, right? You know, you, you don't hear much about the the uh, ISIS, right? You don't hear much about that anymore in, in the media because they shifted the gear. They shifted the gears to 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 Russia, right? Start a war with Russia, right? My name is Marcus Conti, stream of thought journalist on YouTube. I hope I don't get deleted. Peace out.